What's up? Welcome to Amigos. So I'm here with my buddy, Alex from San Antonio Munchies, the one and only. And uh, I called him up and I said, hey man, I got some pastor tacos and he was like, let's do this brother. Uh, so today we're here at the point. Uh, the point's here, it's Bernie Stage Road. It's a food truck park. They generally have four or five food trucks, oh, yeah. coffee shop. Um, seems like a pretty cool place yeah, to hang out. Legit, yeah, really yeah. Cool. Uh, so we've been invited here today by Mr. Diablo. Brand new food truck, hearing great things about him, and I knew I had to come out and try him. And uh, you know what? Alex knows what's good for him. So yeah. uh, he was like, I'm there, brother. Yeah. So anyway, everybody, let's go over here, say hello to uh, Mr. Diablo, and uh, see what they got for us today. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. So I'm here with the co-owners of Mr. Diablo's Taco. Hey, this is Mauricio. Yeah. Edmundo. And these two guys are killing it in here. Let me tell you what, when Alex and I walked up, hey man, could you smell it? I mean, when we when I pulled in the parking lot, they have faux, they have a whole bunch of other stuff over there, but I could smell that, that trompo, man. It was kind of like, it was guiding to me to where they were. Um, so, so tell me a little bit about your truck, man. Tell me about Mr. Diablo. Uh, so Mr. Diablo started with uh, me and my dad, basically. Uh, my dad, he had the uh, recipe straight from Mexico. You know, it's been 60 years around, it's been passed on. And, but this uh, recipe is from like a really famous uh, restaurant in Mexico. My dad got it, so he, he's been trying to open a thing. You know, he got the talent. Uh, I told him, let's open it. You know, we gotta, we gotta open, we gotta sell this stuff. You know, we gotta, we gotta let people know what we got. Yeah. Sure, man, sure. Yeah. So, and you guys are one of the only trucks with a trompo. Yeah, that, we're, we're that one I, of the few, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the few, and you can see that, man, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, so, so tell me about, why did you name the truck uh, Mr. Diablo? <laughs> <laughs> well, because uh, the word uh, Diablo in Mexico is different. It's no bad uh, word. It's always for, I don't know, it's funny, uh, it's for carnavals, uh, Dia de Muertos, it's different, no? Yeah, he's like more of a character. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, exactly. Yeah, no, and, uh, yeah. My, my dad, I remember, he's always calling us Diablo, the Diablillo. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I guess he's Mr. Yeah. Diablo and we're the Diablillos. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so uh, what do you got for us today? What are you gonna What are you gonna feed us? So we're gonna give you the cuchillo, guaraches, and street tacos, and then you tell us from there what you want. <laughs> man, that's dangerous. Hey, Alex, you bring your appetite, bro. Oh yeah, man, I'm ready. We're ready too. So uh, let's do it, guys. Let's All right. Guys. First impressions, right there. Oh, let me get this down. All right, everybody. First impressions, right there. Everything's good. We split up everything. Um, we still got street tacos coming, but I couldn't wait. I couldn't <laughs> wait. Right, Let's do it, man. The cochillo first. Mm. Oh man, freaking delicious, bro. The wow. Yeah. I'll sit on something. The corn tortilla is like no other I've ever had in this mm -hmm. city. It's real thick. Um, man, that recipe. Yeah, man. Excellent. The Whoa. Look at who Mariso just brought us right here. Look at this. Now that is the way you're supposed to do pastor right there. Mm -hmm. with, with the pineapple. Look at that. The pineapple ratio. Freaking gorgeous, man. That corn tortilla though. You've, you've never had a corn tortilla Very like that fresh. here. Ne I've never had one like that here in San Antonio. I'll tell you that and right you now. Make them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make them every day. 
<laughs> yeah. Making them every day. Every day in the morning. <laughs> Man. <laughs> every day. <laughs> so this, the red salsa is, is this habanero? No, it's a chile de árbol, but okay. it's a asado. Okay, all right, let's try it out here. Perfect. Wow. Wow, better than some of the restaurants I've been to. Now. These two tacos are similar, but they taste completely different, mm -hmm. right? So good, man. My is hiding out back there. All right, so explain to me, the cochillo has what? The cochillo has just the cheese, the Monterey cheese, and the meat, and then the tortilla around it. Okay. Then the huarache is just the same kind of tortilla, but flat out. Then you got the beans, the meat, and then some cheese Monterey grill like on top of it. And then you got the queso fresco and the tortilla. Mm. And that's how you make a huarache. Man. That's our style of huarache. There's a lot of styles of huarache, but that's our kind. Yeah. This is spicier. It's very good. I love it. Very good. While they're still hot, I need to move on over here to these street tacos, man. So the secret here is the pineapple. I, I, I haven't tried them. They look amazing. They're beautiful. It's like the perfect ratio of pineapple to taco right there. All right, so we got the street tacos, basically. Okay. We got the pastor street tacos. These come with pineapple. Our pineapple, we cook it. It's uh -huh. different in some places. It's just throw it like, like raw, you know? Right, right. Like fresh. So when, when you cook it, the sweet on it concentrates more. It makes it have be more sweet. And then you got the, the pastor, kind of like salty. And then you got the, the sweet on the pineapple, which so makes the it. So the sweet and salty. Yeah, the perfect balance right there. And then you put the salsa in it. I'm gonna forget about it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab one with no salsa, just straight purist style right here. And like I said, they're absolutely beautiful. Here we go, man. Awesome. Oh my goodness gracious. Man, I gotta eat this whole thing, hold on. I've never had a pastor taco like that in San Antonio. Wow. I promise you I have not. The pineapple really, really, it's grilled, right? It's grilled, yeah, right? Yeah, pineapple's grilled, yeah. Um, the one thing that I always hear from a lot of people is like, man, uh, kind of like what Mariso was saying, you know, it's raw, um, done right in Mexico, because the pastor is sweet. Right, it makes it mm -hmm. sweet, right, with the pineapple. That's a different kind of seasoning, Very right? It just so. it tastes Very it tastes so. a lot different, right? These are freaking amazing. Let me tell you, I'm gonna throw some salsa on there now. Um, try it with the salsa. So this red salsa, I'm digging it. It's spicy. Right there, man. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Excellent. That's good, brother. Man, bro, you guys are killing it, man. So we've done it, we wrapped it up. These guys, let me tell you, if you're looking for Pastor Mini Street Tacos, there is, search no further. Mr. Diablo, that's that's the place to go. What do you think? What do you think, Alex? Excellent, brother, excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Damn yeah. Right. What do you think, man? Tell me about what sets it apart. I really do believe, man, the grilled pineapple is what sets it apart. And man, added so much to the flavor, the sweetness. It was just excellent, brother. Excellent. It really was. Guys, thanks for having me out. Hey, thank you. Thanks I appreciate it, man. Thank I appreciate it. So much. Uh, check these guys out, their social media. I'll tag them below. Uh, they put, on Mondays, they put out their schedule where they're going to be. They're going to be at Texas, uh, the Taco Truck Throwdown. Uh, at Essex on October 12th. They're gonna enter this uh, Pastor Taco and I'm pretty sure they're gonna do very well with him. Yeah. Amigos as always, love, peace, and tacos. We'll see you next time. Taco. All my friends are gonna eat some tacos. The Amigos know just where to go.